Hey guys, welcome to another one in this game series. Today we are going to be making a sort of cannon. Um, I was thinking, you know, like the like the ones where you like auto like tennis baseball things that just fire bullets at you. So we've got just two simple meshes, and we're going to make a new blueprint class, which will just be a type actors fine. Um, and I'm going to call it ball cannon underscore BP. Now with the ball cannon, um, we're going to want to bring those meshes in. So I'm just going to go to my meshes folder and drag them and drop them in. And position them in place. So I'm just making sure none are attached to each other at the moment. And the reason you'll see in a second why I've got two meshes is because I want this part, this little what part to rotate on the spot. Um, and yeah, and this other part can be static. So in terms of the actual firing in the projectile, um, in fact, what we should do first is we could use a rotating component, but that might rotate the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is the spinner that we made before in one of the previous videos, very, very simple piece of code. All it does is untake, just add some rotation. I'm just going to steal this and do it in here. And it's going to be into the barrel. So let's select the barrel and let's figure out which rotation we want it to rotate on. So it's going to be on Y. Oh no, the anchor point's off. I'm going to have to fix the anchor point on that at some point, but I'm not going to bother doing that now. Though the anchor point looks fine. I wonder why it's Rotating like that seems to rotate fine on that axis and that one. I think it's because it's on a tilt. You see, because it's like leaning back. I think it's because it's leaning back. You know, I'll I'll figure it out later. Uh, but for now, we'll just um, do this here, and that'll be fine. And then what we're going to need to do is we're also going to need to make a bullet. So let's create a new blueprint class of actor. Um, and we'll call it cannon ball underscore BP. And this cannon ball is going to just be, let's just make it a sphere. And let's just give it a basic material. Oh, no, I finished light. <laughs> uh, we don't want that. We'll just go red. Red's danger, right? Um, nice, simple sphere. Um, fairly straightforward. But the magic, what we're going to want is a projectile movement. And this projectile movement is essentially what's going to give us a motion. And I never really know what to put in these. Um, after some minutes, I'm just going to put 2000 in and sort of see what happens. So let's go back to our spinner. And what we're going to do is we're going to want, oops, not our spinner. Um, a cannon. What we're going to want is an arrow because this arrow essentially is going to be where our bullet spawns from. So, like you can see, we've got this arrow, and we can see its forward vector is not what we want. So, let's just sort of put this in place like that, give it a bit of rotation to try and match it, and loosely that'll do for now. Um, because I don't want it, you know overlapping with the collision. Okay, so uh, we're going to use something called a event by timer. So set timer by event. And we'll do this on begin play. And what we're going to say is essentially every, we'll just do it one second for the sake of testing, and we'll turn on loop. We are going to want a custom event, which we'll call fire. So every one second, this event here is going to be fired. Uh, we can add an initial delay and stuff if you want, um, but I'm not bothered about that. And 
we then want to spawn actor from class and that is going to be our cannonball <laughs> this is called ball cannon and if it's called cannonball that is not the best naming conventions I've ever seen let's get an arrow and then we're going to say get world transform and guess what that's going to be wired into the transform of course it is and let's have a little look see let's go ahead and drop this cannon in our world ball cannon and let's put this in simulation oh those balls are a bit big um and in terms of rotating speed i know obviously the axis but let's uh just tweak and improve this so i actually wanted to rotate a little bit faster so i'm just gonna go 80 why not and let's take a cannon and shrink it down like what half the speed and in term i mean half the size sorry in terms of speed shall we double it yeah let's double it four thousand again you'll just have to sort of tweak and mess with these there's a whole bunch of options as well like you know, like bounciness and friction and all kind like homing like that's cool um but for what we're doing like this it wouldn't home okay maybe we shouldn't have doubled it okay i think we're about there we want it probably about a third um so let's actually just go to three thousand what happened as well i think because i shrunk the size it gives it less mass so it fires more um so that's why there's such a, a dramatic difference as well in speed there cool and um, that's pretty much the gist what i am going to do though is give this cannonball um a tag of a rag tag a component tag and let's say rag and the reason I'm giving this um, because our player, again, in a previous video, if you've been following along with this series, we created a system, a collision system, right? Yes, here, where um, if component has the tag rag, then it's going to simulate ragdolling. So let's give it a try. Ignoring the three, two, one. Nope, it didn't do anything. Um, let's have a quick look, see why. Should we just add a, onto our cannonball? Let's just add a, a quick uh, sphere collider. Even I don't think that's the issue. I'm going to scale it up. And let's let's on it. Why not? Let's just go on begin overlap. And then let's just cast to our third person. And on our third person, let's just create a new custom event here. Called Ragdollit. Why that in there? Come back to a cannon. If the cannonball hits the thing, let's fire ragdoll it. Compile, save. Let's test that out. Yeah, there we go. It caught that guy. Let's give it one more test. Let's do it in full screen. Pew. Cinematic intro. Okay. <laughs> nice there you go that's the pretty much the gist one more thing though on your cannonball do stick a delay on there so left click and holding d or just right click and type delay and i'm just going to say six seconds um destroy self destroy actor just because you don't want like to you know forever be spawning these and um have that issue. I'm also going to just touch up these 
scale a little bit just to make it a bit more fun and there you go um that is how to make a cool little cannonball thing again i need to sort out my anchor point i'm just going to do it level instead of doing it on a tilt we render it out export it um but yeah we've got a sweet little cannonball tank thing it's perhaps firing a bit fast i can slow it down um but yeah hope you found that useful thanks for watching as always guys i'd love to see what you you're up to um please let me know in the comments below and yeah thanks for watching